Let me introduce myself first. I participated in Grand Prix U19 category. I grew up in China and now study in Singapore. I did not participate in any robotic competition in the past. An Echo Challenge is my first robotic experience. I have learned a lot during this challenge. Firstly, I'm more familiar with the inputs of a robot, such as color sensor, which gives three values of red, green, blue, respectively. I also got to know how basic functions of robots are achieved and improved, such as how to turn a fixed angle and how to track the line tightly. I also gained a new skill during this process. I didn't know how to code in C before I participated in IQ. After I signed up, I looked for C tutorials online, and once I know what to do, I'm able to practice that and enhance my knowledge by writing in the advanced action and advanced condition part of the GUI. At the end of the challenge, I believe I learned C in a speed faster than I learned anything before, because IQ Challenge provided me a motivation and a platform to exercise my skills. I also watched the sharings of other participants, and Liao's performance interested me the most. She has a very effective path planning, which I failed to realize. She reminded me that things can be done from different aspects and it's always helpful to open my eyes for different angles. For example, when entering the maze, she did not travel through the whole circle. Instead, she just went directly to the orange station and turned 180 degrees to leave the maze. When I was writing the action of the robot, I used some strategies. The most important and basic one is proportional control. As you can see, the robot is following the line tightly. This is because when it is on the left of the line, it will turn to the right. When it's on the right of the line, it will turn to the left. The important thing is, the further away it is from the central line, the more it will turn, until the line is directly under the middle of it. However, there is a problem when the speed of the robot is above a certain value, it will fail to react in time and rush out of the line, or it sometimes overshoot when it turns to the other side. I had to make a compromise by slowing down its speed, and it traveled very smoothly. There are also situations when the color marker is the same, but I wanted the robot to perform a different action. One thing I did is that I let the robot count the number of color markers it has encountered. And when it is, for example, n's color marker, it will perform a different action. Here is one example in my room. The first red is turn left, the second is turn right, and the last red is turn left again. That's all. Thank you to IQ organizing committees and thank you for watching.